In this video, I want to share with you a book that had a tremendous impact on me, um, cemented my belief that the technology exists for us to pretty much straighten out anything that's malfunctioning in the body. This book is called The Body Electric, and I am going to share a little bit about what I've learned reading this book and some of the other related materials. I think the first thing we need to understand is that there are electrical signals that are controlling every function of the human body. So those signals include something that we take for granted like breathing or our heart pumping blood through our body. There are also other signals that are in essence traveling around the connective tissue in the body. And those are the signals that control our movement or tell the body that there is a foreign invader. The book, The Body Electric, was premised on the fact that if salamanders can regrow limbs, the human body ought to be able to do the same thing. And the uh, research was fascinating. They did a lot of um, studies and they found that they had to, in essence, invent the equipment to be able to measure these signals because they're so minuscule. Um, our technology did not have a way to measure these signals. And it's interesting because the initial premise when they couldn't get it to work quite right was that they needed more electricity. We use microcurrent in the human body, but they thought they needed more electricity. And what they found was that they actually needed less. The signal is so subtle that um, it was really hard for them to mimic that signaling. They did finally figure it out though. It was fascinating. These poor salamanders. Honestly, if you're an animal rights person, you probably don't want to go too much further here, but these poor salamanders were put through these experiments and they actually manipulated the signals and got the salamander to grow a limb where it didn't even belong by signaling a certain area of the body. And they really reverse engineered the signaling process to figure out actually what was going on. To make a long story short, they never did figure out how to get the human body to react the same way, but they do know that the human body functions on similar signals. It's actually interesting that they discovered that um, if a child whose stem cell functioning is a little fresher, that child could regrow the tip of a finger or some sort of body component in a way that an adult can't. Something in the aging process and maybe in our mental conditioning impedes that signaling, but it is there. We know that it's there um, inherent in our human functioning. So this book was just fascinating. We are learning more and more about how microcurrent works in the human body and how we can basically recharge our energy system. The human body is a rechargeable battery in essence. There are all sorts of things we can do that will support our body in recharging that battery. And um, this is just one of the many things we're gonna discuss as we uh, continue the uh, journey of exploration here on this channel. Remember, um, I'm gonna share practical advice to help you make well-being a high priority. So if this is important to you, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and join me on this journey.